hundreds of techniques that come from what we call same side draw, striking and locking, or cross side draw across the body, striking, locking, throwing. It's all kinds of techniques. Okay? Randy comes up this time. Okay. This position is called Itchy Munzi No Kamai. It's for crowd, crowd control. Get back, sir. You know, get back. They like the police like this to push, right? So it's a standard position. Okay. So from here, if Randy grabs my right wrist, hoping to nullify me pushing him quickly, and he's got his left hand ready, okay, I just flip this over and take a step here. Now, I squeeze this tight, I've got the elbow trapped. And from here, straight down. Like now here we're not using Koto Hanari, we've got the arm straight, but I've got his elbow and his wrist fairly well locked, although his shoulder's not. Now this would be a primary technique to go to something secondary. Okay, but I'm off the center line. He can't hit me with that left hand, I hope. If he tries, I'm going to put him on his face and do some damage to him, right? But we're not going to worry about that now. Okay? <laughs> One more time. Okay. Flip over, off the center line, take him down. Okay? Another technique hey. here. On your face, sir. Okay. That's it. Here, my take. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> He's my Yuki most of the time, so. but he does yell now. I'm sort of like <laughs> uh, If you're getting pain or you're uncomfortable, tap like this in your leg, which is standard in all the throwing arts, judo, aikido, jujitsu, maybe some of you are doing some of those. <coughs> if you're on the floor, which you're not going to be much today, bang the floor, be like Thumper. If you can't move your hands and you're all locked up, or you're laying on your arms, or your feet are locked up, say mate. It's like saying uncle. In Japanese, mate means enough. It's hurting. So what you do when you get mate, okay? Say Randy yells mate. Mate. I don't take my lock off. I just loosen it. So I still got control of it, but I know I'm hurting him. So I loosen the control, like totally. No matter whether it's with stick or without stick, right? Some guys make mistake in street. Got to yell mate. You go to walk away, boom, knock out, right? So bad habits, also habit I have, Randy and I have worked a long time. If you're doing hundreds of throws, I help the guy up. Never do that, unless it's a technique. Helping guy up, we have a lot of techniques like the pistol grip technique. Randy's down, I grab his thumb in here, come on up, sir. I'm here. Okay, and I've got pistol grip, and I want him back down, right? Now I want to play with his fingers. Here, here. Got a thumb, a little finger. What thing? Yes, sir. Okay. Did you know control? I did. So again, helping up can be technique. Sure, come on up. But I've got good control in because I've got his thumb locked in here. I can also push fingers back here. Get in behind. Block here. All kinds of different ways. Okay, good. That's a little bit without handball. We're going to stay with handball. <laughs> okay, so one more time, standard carry posture. Think of your bow and thirds. Come on up. Okay. Randy does this time cross arm grab, katate dori across. In other words, his right to my right. I'm just going to flip the bow over and squeeze his wrist. Come down to one knee. Same thing. Okay? Let's get that far, and then we're going to add something to that. That's a very simple technique. Right? Okay. 